Good morning, YouTubers. Welcome to Morning Coffee with Mike. Today we're going to discuss to vax or not to vax. That is the question. Looking at all of the discrepancies that are happening and all the cover-ups and all the collusion, lies, it's becoming more and more apparent that this thing is more of a political ploy. Now, we've been talking about this for years. We know we know it's been happening pretty much since February, March of 2020 when we started to see. Uh, when did I know? Let me tell you when I knew this whole COVID thing was BS. When Canada was allowing foreign investors to come in and not be tested for anything, fly in, buy your homes, get back on a plane and leave. Come in, uh, go on a tour bus, buy a bunch of properties from China. The people from China coming in, no one getting tested. And then creating COVID hotels for people coming into the country that leave the country and our own prime minister doesn't even stay in one of them for 15 days. So that is, you know, you could tell right through, right through. And when our housing market explodes through the roof, bringing in more money from Hong Kong, Canada is looking at about, I think it's not 100 million, it's 98 million, 466,000 infractions of money laundering in just 2020 alone. So there's something at work here. We and Again, we knew this already. This is not old news. Now, to jab or not to jab, that is the question. So obviously they're propagandizing like crazy, shutting down, locking down, destroying people's lives, wiping up the middle class. Now the question you need to ask yourself is, should I take this thing? Should I take it for work? Well, we're not gonna get into the legalities of that, but we're gonna look at what we've been seeing when it comes to transparency and honesty. One country, like a couple of countries that I think are very transparent and honest. One country I think is Thailand. Now, Thailand, the medical system is not nowhere near as, I think it's per, per person, I think it's per 3,000 people, it's one hospital bed. So they have a lack of hospitals. I'm just guessing on the numbers, I don't know. So um, I'm not talking about clinics, I'm talking about actual hospitals and ICUs and stuff. They're reporting less than 200 deaths. Now they're pushing it now. I think the CDC is starting to push these countries to say, look, you got to report more. This is not this is not going to work. So they're, they have less than 200 deaths in Thailand. OK, and it's it's August. It's the la I think the second last day of August 2021. OK, so they're reporting less deaths than anywhere else per capita. Then you got countries like Egypt, where we had Layla Layla on the show saying, yeah, they got 30 cases, 100 and 130 billion people. This doesn't work. OK, and, and if it was a pandemic, the death rate of a pandemic way back at the turn of the 20th century is a 26% death, 21 to 26% death rate, which we're not seeing anywhere. Now we have old folks homes in Ontario coming forward or they're getting caught that they were giving opium or other like stuff to the old folks, you know, and stuff like that. And there's all this BS happening in New York where things are surfacing. I believe that they're going to start auditing death certificates to figure out why do you have Australia just surpassed 1,000 deaths, okay? 71% of those deaths, apparently, like the last numbers I saw, are over 80. So, 1,000 in 20 months. We're not talking this month, in 20 months, in 19, 20 months of lockdowns and destroying middle class families. New Zealand, I don't know the numbers in New Zealand, comment below. I don't think it's, I think it's super low. So now you're probably saying, well, Mike, so the hardest lockdown countries are the ones getting hit the hardest. Okay. Now you got this migrant train that's still moving nice and nice flowing three to three to 7,000 people per week. I have a friend in the Southern Mexican border on the Southern part of Mexico, not with the United States, but in the Southern part of Mexico, that's where Guatemala and all those other countries there uh, and where Central America starts. He told me that there's people coming in and they had to put up two or three more fences to stop illegals from coming into Mexico to get into. So they're coming through. They can't stay in Mexico. They can't take citizenship in Mexico. They can't get married and they can't work in Mexico. They got to go straight to the United States. When they arrive in the United States, guess what? They get relocated somewhere else. They don't even get tested. They don't get quarantined for 15 days. They're still locking up children in cages and blah, blah, blah. So that's the problem we're facing right now. So the discrepancies are so there. And, and you know, I, I was 
I, 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 I'm, I'm not, I'm not an anti-vaxxer, and that's what people keep calling us. We're not anti-vaxxers. We just don't want to take an experimental drug. And I said this a year ago, when they were rolling this out. Now, it was being rolled out in Europe at the time a year ago, and it, the, the, they were testing it and getting it working and figuring out and this and that. And we broke down what was in those uh, shots uh, on Mike in the Night. We actually broke it down. We looked at it. We saw what the deal was. Uh, where it was coming from, how it was being applied, where it was being applied, uh, what the numbers were showing, and none of it made any sense, right? None of it made any sense. Now, there's a report that the CDC, the CDC, the uh, uh, Center for Disease Control, wants to come and take everyone's guns in America. Now, America cannot lose their guns because if America loses their guns, we lose the rest of the world falls into darkness. They already had a corrupt election with their new president select. I don't believe more than 8 million people voted for Biden. I'm just regurgitating all the videos I talked in the last friggin' year. So anyways, Amerifornia is coming to America, and people think that this 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 virus in Canada too, that this virus was going to correct the housing market. No, it's going to keep going up. And then you got companies like Blackstone that will eventually, that are partially Chinese-owned or will sell out to China in the future, that will eventually own these countries, buying up farmland, all suspicious behavior. This is old news coming from me in Canada, where they've been buying our mines, our biggest mines, no Canadian hires, and it's old news. So this is uh, something that's been happening. Now, it all boils down to interest rates and housing and, and the cost of living. I believe that they never want to raise interest rates in Canada and New Zealand and Australia because if they do, it's going to be catastrophic. So they're going to have to lower interest rates into negative territory. And we had a huge poll on the channel two years two, well, before COVID, like in 2018, 2017. I asked in the video, which country do you think will go first into negative interest rates? Looking at the numbers and incomes, I thought New Zealand would go first into negative interest rates first, then Australia, and then the UK and then Canada, and then maybe parts of the United States will go into negative interest rates because the cost of living is just horrendous in, in the liberal states, in the, um, uh, in the, was the blue states. So it's been horrendous uh, cost of living. That's why people are mass exodusing and creating the ripple effect of what we like to call in this channel, Amerifornia. So this is becoming a major issue. So, to jab or not to jab, that is the question. Uh, I am not taking no experimental jab. I, I just don't. You know, um, I'm not out protesting it. I'm in a small town, but I'm, I'm just letting people know to look at the facts, look at the numbers, and look at the situations. You get New Zealand lock itself down for one case. One. A sus supposed case for a week. You get eight to 13, eight, eight to 12,000 migrants coming through America in a week with hospital systems in Central America that are, I think, less than 10% of what the capacity is in Western English-speaking countries, it makes zero sense that you're not getting a cluster movement coming through uh, into the United States and wiping out and decimating the... Uh, oh, well, Mike, look at the hospitals. They're overflowing. No, that's people are starting to go to hospitals. Now they're finding people that go to hospitals 25 Okay, I think it's 20,000 in Canada and 25,000 in America if you go to a hospital and film. So that's another issue. So they're taking away our freedoms, one freedom at a time, to impose something that they really don't have a grasp on. And now the Delta variant is being walked back. Why is the Delta variant being walked back? Well, there's no way to test for it. So if you can't test for something, how are you going to uh, secure something in a laboratory when you secure a sample? How are you going to do that if you don't have a way to test for it and you can't secure a sample? That is the question I ask you, my great friends and viewers. Call in on Mike in the Night. Open lines. We've been having a lot of great shows of Mike in the Night live and exclusively on Odyssey. Comment below, guys. I love you guys so much. And that's why I want to make sure you people, the people, understand. I'm willing to bet five years of my life. I'm willing to bet up front five years. And I won't take it back. And I won't walk it back. That a lot of these leaders, portfolios, stocks, are all in the vaccine companies. And that's why they're pre-ordering vaccines for 10 years ahead. Hundreds of millions of doses. Uh, well, Canada's almost 100. Is it 80, 98 million doses or something? They're ordering this many doses because, obviously, it's going to create work. It's going to create an economy within the vaccine companies. And that will create the stocks to go up.
I called that uh, a year ago, a year, one year and a month ago. I said, the second I started seeing in-person voting in Canada is considered dangerous, I already knew they were going to call a snap election. Trudeau's going to win by a landslide. He will win. It's going to be another America when it comes to elections. Let me know what you guys think. I love you guys. Comment below. I need to know what is on your minds. God bless. Thank you so much. And uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Guys, I'm in the Corvette because uh, it's so windy outside. I was going to give you guys a view of the mountains here. But it's, it's so windy outside. Comment below. Let me know. God bless.